Hello everybody, Mav Hunter here. Well, it's five days before the opener of elk season here in 2022 in Washington State. Uh, it's just general rifle elk season for me, which means I'm limited to spike bull only again this year because I did not draw a special bull tag. So it's spike only for me, but I just arrived at my camping spot and I'll give you a quick little tour for a look at before and then I'll do a video once camp is set up and give a tour once it's complete. And I've backed down this old logging road here about 100 yards off the main track and as you can see I started unpacking my utility trailer and all my gear and it's pretty late it's 4 30 this afternoon so I've got about hour and a half of daylight to at least get my tent set up and then uh, I might finish the rest of the camp set up tomorrow. But I laid out the tarp where I'm going to place my 10 by 10 Kodiak canvas tent. There's a view to the back. That old road there is a nice little trail that goes back into a place where a long time ago my dad's hunting partner Harry he used to go back up there and he'd get a he'd get an elk there every once in a while, every couple years. And that's the hill and the main road is just over the edge of this knob here, about 50 to 100 yards. But I picked a spot that I could be somewhat sheltered out of the wind because the wind really blows across this ridge from west to east or actually to a southeast type of wind. Give you an overlook here of my camp area and my view. Well, daylight's burning, so I got to get going getting this camp set up. Okay, I got uh, both the tent set up and I have the 10 by 10 canopy set up over the utility trailer. So I created a, a kitchen or a cook station that's protected from the wind, which last night was blowing about 35 to 45 miles an hour, but everything stayed together. So I must've put it together right. Here you see my Kodiak 10 by 10 canvas tent that I've had now for six years. And uh, it's been in Utah, Colorado, and uh, Arizona many times. And it always does great. Doesn't need a tarp if it rains. It's never leaked. But if we're going to get some snow, I'm probably going to put a tarp over the top so the snow will slide off and not sag the roof. My tent butts up to an excellent area to just walk behind this old logging road, this closed logging road, and that trail, and do some hunting. And if I'm lucky, I'll get to use the old meat pole again this year. So I got a nice meat pole there, ready and waiting for me to hang up a nice tasty spike bull. Continuing with the tour, here I am approaching camp from the rear. And one thing I like about this Kodiak canvas tent, on each side it has a window and a door. In this case, the door's on the right, the window's on the left. So it's nice to have two entrances in and out, although I usually only use one. But if ever I need an emergency exit, it's nice to have an extra door. Now I gotta put that lid back on that camp container before it starts to rain. And here you can look into the camp kitchen. And you can see the canopies over the top with three sides. It came with four, but I leave one side open 
to get in and out quite easily. And I put the canopy flush to the trailer on the other side there and strap it to the trailer frame in case the hard winds blow. That gives me about five feet of space right here to sit down and relax and get out of the weather. So here you can see I had my breakfast there on the table. And there's my cook station. And everything stored underneath. Makes for a nice comfortable camp. And here you can see how I attach my canopy to the trailer. As well as I use a couple tent stakes to hold it down on the feet. That's a nice setup. I like it. It's worked well for me in a couple different states. First time using this setup in Washington State, though. The trailer still gives me room for plenty of storage where I can keep things dry and out of the weather. That's a nice camp, especially when I'm going to spend 12 to 14 days out here. I just hope I can get lucky and get a tasty spike bull elk into the freezer again this year. So here's my tent. Got a little table there with some essentials. A little t nighttime table. My comfy Helinox chair my cot and my sleeping bag. And this bag stores underneath the cot when I'm not getting stuff out of it. Here's this hanging shelf, this clothing shelf I like so much with the Kodiak tent. And back there is an accessory bag that comes with the tent. As well as this accessory bag that comes with the tent right here. This cooler, I hope, will be half full of elk meat when I go home. But right now, this cooler is dry, dry food storage. Safe from the camp mice. I have this cooler here to hold my perishables, food that needs to be kept chilled. And it's uh, always in the shade here, so the hot sun doesn't beat down and melt my ice that's frozen in gallon water jugs. A final tour here for 2022 general rifle elk season. And here's my 10 by 10 vendor canopy, which fits over the open ramp utility trailer. The utility trailer becomes a covered area for cooking. And on the other side of the trailer, there's about five foot opening for sitting and eating and talking out of the weather. And the forecast is we got a lot of rain coming here for opening weekend of the general rifle elk season. There you see my 10 by 10 Kodiak tent that I've had for six years. That has been one of the best tents I have ever owned. If it's going to snow, I'm going to put a tarp over the top so the snow will slide off easier. But generally, I've had this through many a rainstorm in Utah, Colorado, and Arizona in the winter. Never had a problem with a leak. And with a small buddy, little buddy heater, the 4,000 to 9,000 BTU heater, it keeps it quite warm for a couple hours in the morning and a couple hours before I hit the sack in the evening. Uh, 
And then you can see the opening to the cook and outside dining area if we choose to do so. And when you're out in the woods for 12 days or longer, like my 2021 Arizona mule deer hunt where I was out in the woods for 22 days straight, I have my little shower tent set up right there. And uh, that's a, you got to keep clean. You got to keep clean out here hunting. Uh, got to reduce your odors as much as you can and pay attention to the wind. But that shower tent is very convenient. I've got it roped, staked down, and I have it rocked down because we're also expecting high winds, 35 to 45 mile per hour gusts come Friday and Saturday evenings. So I've got everything secured in camp now. This is the view from my camp for 2022. Out there on those high ridges and then back in those cloudy, snowy mountains is the William Douglas Wilderness, a good 20 miles away, but there's so much snow in the mountains, they've closed Chinook Pass. And my dad always said, when Chinook Pass closes, get ready, because the elk will be coming out of the high country on their annual migration. Mav Hunter out.